Animals can be pretty unpredictable. Zoo cages aren't enough to turn majestic creatures into docile pets. They don't miraculously transform creatures fitted with dangerous claws and sharp teeth into cuddly plushies. That's a hard lesson that Pakistani zookeeper Kanu Piraditit had to learn for himself back in 2019. The man took a questionable dare too far and landed straight into the lion's mouth, right in front of multiple horrified visitors. What happened next will send a shiver down your spine. Don't try this at your local zoo. This is Fierce. It was December 9, 2019, and Karachi Zoological and Botanical Gardens was already filled with tourists eager to see the animals. The zoo, which is located in Garden West, Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan, has a long history. It was established in 1878 and has since garnered a good reputation. It is Pakistan's largest zoo and the second oldest zoo in the entire country. The zoo has plenty of attractions that make it a tourist hotspot. The most famous exhibit in the zoo is the Elephant House, which, as you probably can tell, houses a large number of elephants. The facility is also used by zoology students for research and educational purposes. Karachi Zoo's Reptile House is one of the few such exhibits in the country, with 13 different species of snakes and lizards. The zoo also has a veterinary hospital and an aquarium, but nothing attracts visitors quite like the zoo's white lions, which were purchased back in 2012 and which are part of a breeding program meant to preserve the animal's rare color mutation. Visitors always flock to the white lion enclosure. The animals were simply too beautiful and fierce to be overlooked. They held a special charm, a mix of beauty and terror. Everybody wanted to be close to them, but not too close. Kanu Piradita wasn't just anyone. The man worked as a zookeeper at Karachi Zoological and Botanical Gardens. He was supposed to be a professional, given the fact that he was a keeper of lions, tigers, and chimpanzees at the zoo. All of these animals are unique, but also extremely dangerous. If provoked, and anything can be interpreted as a slight when it comes to these creatures, these animals can cause irreparable damage, or even death. People dealing with them have to be extremely dependable and competent, and they always have to follow protocol. Zookeepers aren't there just to feed the animals and clean their enclosures. These people are entrusted with everyone's safety, the animals, the visitors, and their own. As such, certain standards have to be met by any zookeeper and particularly by those who deal with the most dangerous animals. But humans don't always make the sanest choices, and sometimes our egos get in the way of everything else. If anything, this was Kanu Piradita's case. At some unspecified point, Piradita's wife dared him to touch one of the white lions the man had in his care. Piradita accepted the foolish dare, willing to prove his macho-ness to his wife to the other zookeepers, and to the zoo visitors as well. By some accounts, Piradita wasn't exactly what you and I would call a responsible zookeeper. Sources say he would often neglect to follow the lion's feeding schedule. Moreover, Piradita would allegedly show carelessness in cleaning the lion enclosure as well. If these things are true, what happened on December 9, 2019 should come as no surprise. The day was overcast but quite warm, the way December days usually are in Pakistan. The zoo was full of visitors, many of them watching two of the zoo's white lions. The animals, a lion and a lioness, were anxiously waiting to be fed. The crowd slowly but surely gathered in front of the cage, behind a barrier meant to keep visitors far from the enclosure. Someone had promised them a show. The zoo's protocol was for zookeepers to use the enclosure's back entrance to feed the animals. Kanu Piradetta chose to disregard the rules and approach the two creatures from the front of the enclosure. Piradetta wanted to show his wife he was more than able to touch the animals. Piradetta approached the cage with pieces of raw meat in his hand. Piradetta started throwing pieces of raw meat to the lions. The animals fed while the crowd watched in awe. 
but Puritanus' dare was yet to be fulfilled. The zookeeper got even closer and extended his arm through the cage bars, as if to touch the white lion. It all happened in an instant. The lion lunged forward and clamped its powerful jaws around Puritanus' left arm. The crowd started screaming and yelling. They were terrified, but they also hoped the noise would scare the lion enough to let go of Puritanus' arm. Even more disturbing was the fact that there were other zookeepers nearby, but none of them did anything at all. They just watched, as if they were as helpless as the crowd. Meanwhile, Kanu Piradetta was facing nothing short of a nightmare. Blood poured down his arm, and despite his best efforts to get away, the lion kept clawing and biting his arm. White lions belong to the same subspecies as the South African lion. Despite the general belief, white lions are not albinos, but they do have a recessive gene that gives them their unusual color. They are prized for their rarity. From the 1970s onward, many wild white lions were removed from the wild and put into captive breeding programs and sent to zoos or circuses around the world. But their beauty doesn't make white lions any less dangerous. And despite the fact that lions have one of the weaker bites among all big cats, their jaws are powerful enough to kill. As such, Kanu Piradetta found himself in an awfully gruesome situation. His arm was being mauled and powerfully stretched out, and the white lion didn't seem too inclined to let the man go. After all, it was luck that saved Piradetta's left arm. The whole deal lasted only 40 seconds. To Piradetta, these 40 seconds felt like 40 years of pain and fear. After 40 seconds, though, the lion tried to get a better grip of the man's arm, opening its jaws for the briefest of moments. Still, it was enough for the zookeeper to get away. Piradetta stumbled back and crashed on the ground against the barricade in the very front of the crowd. The man stayed on the ground, too shocked to move. According to zoo authorities, Kanu Piradetta was immediately rushed to civil hospital Karachi. Despite his severe injury, his condition was stable. Kamar Ayub, the director of Karachi Zoological Gardens, came forward to clarify the situation and answer to those who blamed the zoo for the incident. Ayub told reporters that Piradetta had not followed the safety rules that ensured the safety of the staff when feeding the animals. Our staff member was provided immediate treatment and he's stable now. It's an unfortunate incident and we have all sympathy with the zookeeper. We are providing the best possible treatment to him and hope that he will be back home in two to three days," Ayub added.